Well, hello, my name is Mike, and this is a solo, a solo lesson for the solo um, in the song Disconnect. Uh, I'm from the Netherlands, so my English won't be very good, but I'll try my best. Uh, yeah, the solo. Let's just begin. Um, the start uh, will be something like this. I'm going to play it first, and then I break it down in parts. Uh, the first part of the solo uh, sounds like this. Alright, not a very difficult part. Um, you just start with uh, the 12th fret um, on the G and the B string. Those two strings you're gonna hit. Um, I just lay my uh, finger on uh, the G, the B, and the E string, but I don't hit the E string, so it sounds like this. So uh, then you hit uh, the D string on the 14th fret, uh, so this. Um, and then again the um, the 12th fret on the G and the B string, so. It's um, well. It's it's uh, it repeats itself. So, and then uh, you uh, go on the G and the B string again, but then on, also on the fourteenth fret. So it's like this. I hope that's well um, clear enough. Um, uh, then this part, also very difficult. Um, all right, then the fun part. Take your, well, plectrum pick, pick I suppose. And then you place it on the, 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 the E, the A and the D string and just go like this. Not very difficult. Uh, but then uh, you have to end um, hitting the D string. And then there comes a little bit more difficult uh, part of the solo with a lot of pull-offs. I'm gonna show it now. Um, so in slow motion it's on the 5th and the 7th fret pull-offs, so like this. And um, yeah well that, that's basically it, um, Just you just try it a few times. It's After that, you go to the ninth fret uh, of the G string, so it's like, and I, I, I use a little bit of a slide, so it's more like seven nine. So then, after the ninth fret, a long note, you uh, um, put your fingers on. Um, the G string on the 8th fret and on the D string the 9th fret. So you get, um, after the 9th, you get so this. Just keep the same um, shape uh, of, of the, the, uh, the chord placement of the fingers uh, stays the same but uh, you just move them a few frets. Then there comes a little bit more difficult part, uh, it's a little bit quicker and I think I'm just going to play it very slow so you can see what I'm doing and then just, well, play along maybe. Um, close up. <coughs> Stupid stairs. Fuck. <coughs> right. Um, 
so it, these uh, are the, the 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 frets. Fourteen, twelve, twelve. Um. Just give it some, well, smooth sounding uh, vibrations. It's, uh, well, it gives the solo a little bit more feeling to it, so maybe that helps. Something to practice your bends is uh, very easy because um, when you bend the 12th fret like this, you actually bend it. So it sounds like the 14th fret. So uh, a way to practice your bends is listen to the 14th fret, go two frets lower, and then bend it till it sounds the same as uh, the note before. So. That's, well, the, the best way to practice your bends.